Stenciling of Mats The process of stenciling is used to achieve ornamentation and improve the aesthetic sense of the final product. The designs and patterns with attractive shade are applied on plain coir mats by stenciling for achieving value addition and markability. Printing of dyes, pigments or enamels on coir is achieved by spraying or brushing through stencils. Stenciling is the application of dyes or color on the surface of coir materials, usually on selected areas only by which surface designs are obtained. For the preparation of stencil designs, the sketch of desired design is first prepared and expanded to the required size of mats on paper. It is then transferred to thin galvanized iron sheet and cutting by hand, which is then called a stencil plate. The number of stencil plates depends upon the number of colors used in the design. One plate, each for one color and placed on the face side of the mat and after pressing if properly, the dye solution is applied by spraying or brushing. The edges of the stencil plates are guarded with narrow strips of metal to avoid spreading of dyes while spraying of dye solution on the coir mat. According to the design or pattern, the stencil plates are placed over the mat and dye solution of different colors are applied. Care should be taken to avoid overlapping of two colors of the same during stenciling. After stenciling, the mat is dried under shade or in air. Usually a stencil design consists of 4 to 5 colors. For best results, the dye solution should be kept as hot as possible. Usually a dye solution of 5 to 6 gram per liter for basic dyes 10 to 15 gram per liter for acid dyes and 15 gram per liter and above are used for direct dyes in stenciling. Several decades of applied dedication have ensured a high level of proficiency and precision in all their work. Stenciling colors and designs and spraying vibrant patterns have ensured that coir doormats 
have earned for themselves a fitting place in the modern era of chic and trendy home decor solutions. Mats and mattings together comprise the bulk of India's Koya export earnings. Mechanized printing has been introduced through flocking technology. Here, printing is accomplished with the help of a six-blade printing machine. A glue is evenly smeared over the design plates, after which polypropylene is sprayed atop the designs. The high level of mechanization and stringent quality control measures ensure the degree of perfection as stipulated by international export norms and standards.